Most of you will recall him as the former chief executive of KDs, but now he and three other South African swimmers scooped top spots at the first ice swimming world championship in Murmansk in Russia last month. They're mad. He's also connecting every bit of his business enterprise to the term ice. Let's find out why yeah, Ram Barkai is going ice, ice baby on us. I'm Bruce Whitfield and in Cape Town tonight, Ram Barkai, chief executive of the International Swim Ice Swimming Association and Ice Investment Holdings. Before we talk swimming and ice and why you have ambitions to become a polar bear, Ram, um, it's all over at Katie's. You left there in recent years. Things at Katie's appear to have fallen apart quite spectacularly. You must be delighted to have that association terminated. Uh, Katie's is a um, history channel, you know. Um, I like to look at the future channel. Uh, it's been three and a half years since I left. I haven't been really following Katie's um, or, or keeping in touch. And I don't really have many shares left. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm not the kind of guy who live in the past. I'm much more excited about the future. So for me, Katie's is history. Uh, my life changed quite a lot. But it was a great experience. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you built your name. You built the brand Ramba Kai at KD's. Things did go wrong. I mean, I saw you refer to a conversation you had with Clem Sunter once. who said, family businesses can be fantastic and family businesses can be devastating. You must have taken some very valuable lessons away for, from that to invest in your future. No, certainly. Um, there's no chance I could run a business with my brothers. You know, we have four brothers. We probably terminate each other within 24 hours, although we love each other to bits. So it, it introduced another dimension to running a business. And many times a uh, decision has to be made. You know, you've got to choose. And, and um, it's no one's fault. It's a reality. Uh, I think in the beginning it was a great strength. As we grown up and grow uh, green assets and, and size, it added other complexities. Um, probably could have been dealt better. But you know, hindsight is a perfect sign. So um, again, I... I Lessons uh, to be learned from the past are important, but it's more important to move on rather than get stuck in the past. I mean, have you been inspired by the Investec ads? We all see the Investec ads with your fellow Cape Tonian, of course, uh, <laughs> diving in between icebergs and swimming in polar bears. Uh, and we, we look uh, at the huge impact that that has had worldwide. And you've got yourself very seriously immersed, if I may, in the world of ice swimming. Uh, um, Bruce, I started swimming uh, in the ice in 2008. Uh, my main inspiration actually came from Lynn Cox, um, a woman that at the age of uh, 17, she broke the English Channel record for men and women. She came back at the age of 19 to reclaim this. And she was the first person to swim in Antarctica. I read a book and uh, definitely has inspired me and, and my swimming mates to go down to Patagonia and swim the Bigger Channel, the Magellan Straits, uh, Antarctica, the Bering Strait, a lot of things that she's done. Uh, there's a lot of people that inspire me out there, not necessarily ads from TV. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more impressed by unsung heroes rather than from TV ads, if I may say. No, fair enough. Um, we, we look at it. How does it feed into a new career, though? Because it's all well and good to have had a successful career in financial markets, to have run a listed company, and then to take some time out and to go and stretch yourself and test your personal boundaries. But how does this feed then back into the world of making a living? I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's a question that a lot of people ask me and I kind of um, try not to ask myself too much. <laughs> um, I, I, there's obviously a pressure um, <laughs> uh, to generate income and uh, so far it only generated cost and it's growing and I'm not sure if I will ever be able to make a living from ice or ice swimming but um, it's something that I don't want to force uh, and I want to focus on, on the vision and on the passion 
Uh, it has got to a stage that a lot of my expenses are being covered when I travel around the world. Uh, I no long, longer travel in uh, uh, business or first class. I travel in economy. Uh, we share rooms in hotels. Um, but it's great. Um, it's, it's a great experience. And in some way, it kind of brought me down to earth. Um, you know, the, the financial industry uh, is not exactly the real world. Um, and, and there's a whole huge world out there who is not busy with the finance of the markets every day and they create awesome products and they do awesome things. And, and so in some ways, uh, the last three and a half years allowed me to, to reconnect uh, to life in a very normal way again. I mean, you, you talk of it as if, of something of an epiphany. I mean, it's like, you know, Paul's road to Damascus, perhaps. I don't know how good your, your, <laughs> your biblical knowledge is. Was, was he Saul and then became Paul? I, I forget the detail. You'll forgive me, I hope. But, I mean, it, it, it seems to have been a, a deeply personal journey to try and fi find yourself again after perhaps losing track um, after 20 years of, of work. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of things in life uh, for me, kind of happened rather than I sat down and, and charted my to-do list um, and followed, followed it through. Uh, I'm, I'm a great believer in intuition and in the fact that opportunities present themselves in life every single day. Um, and when the right thing comes and attract your passion and your interest, you must grab and, and start a journey wherever it's going to take you. I think um, in the financial markets, for years, uh, you're kind of being, and again, nothing personal against the industry that fed me for, for many years, um, you kind of getting brainwashed to think uh, at everything in terms of numbers and results kind of the bottom line, um, what will be the best ratio to identify success. And it takes a long time to divorce that kind of mindset mm. and to try and look at things kind of truly out of the box rather than only what, what in it for me, which is many times the approach we do in business and many times limits uh, the outcome because no one really knows when you start something out of the box, what in it for you. Okay, what, what is um, in it for you? You, you? You've carried through the ICE theme from your personal experiences challenging yourself into ICE investment holdings. What is ICE investment holdings, if not going back to what you were doing previously? Um, I have mentioned in that article that my personal circumstances sort of placed my future plans on ICE. Um, it hasn't not divorced. I mean, finished for, for, yet. Anyone, for anyone who's not, uh, you, yeah, you, yeah, you've yeah, had yeah. a severe, significant change in your life. I mean, that's that's realistic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's not. It's not over yet. Okay. Um, I have four kids, so um, I sort of plunge into the ice uh, and explored what can we do with the ice. Um, it started with with a few swims here and there, and later on. I realized that there's a completely uncharted territory there that mostly covered by legends and stories and, and, and no facts. Uh, people don't keep records of all of these extreme adventures around the world, so the stories vary from minus to plus, distances from miles to this. So I decided to, to start um, International Ice Swimming Association. It is, it is a growing entity. Uh, I'm also the owner of the Freedom Swim Series. Again, it's another, mm. probably the largest swim series in the Cape Town uh, water. Uh, none of these things made me a cent so far. And I'm not really focusing on, on making money from that. But I have created an unbelievable network uh, just about everywhere around the world. I met a lot of people that connect through the passion of adventure, uh, swimming in the ice, exploration, who also have 
other interests. And I think one day I will find a way to generate income. Don't have to make a lot of money from everything that you do. Um, I don't want to lose the passion in, in what I do. That's the most important thing for me at the moment. But you have had a massive turnaround in thinking, haven't you? I mean, five years ago, the Rambar Kai <laughs> of 2008 financial crisis hits. It's a very different guy to the man we see now. Yeah, definitely. I, I lost some hair. <laughs> I grew a beard. I got a nice tan. Um, yeah, you know, being in a corporate world for, for 20 or 25 years, um, you live in a world uh, that kind of the center of the world. You watch the news on a on a second-by-second -second basis, you, you watch results and, and, and economic indicators and 24-7, basically, your life become uh, on the grid. Taking some time away gives you some perspective. And when, when I look at, at, at the things that excites me, um, they, they have changed, definitely, uh, from the financial world. So I'm not sure if I'll ever be back um, into the financial world. Some people told me I'm unemployable. Probably true, because I like to do my own things too much. <laughs> um, but but I, I, I love the innovation that I see in businesses like Google, Facebook. Uh, Talsa is probably the latest one. If you do want to look at finance, they nearly sold two years ago to yeah. Google for, for nothing. Um, these, it's a major breakthrough. and. In some way, maybe one day I'll go back to the financial world if that kind of innovation will go into the financial market. Uh, Rambakai, thank you very much. Chief Executive of the International Ice Swimming Association and of Ice Investment Holdings. Lots of things on ice, but it also seems as if we're having something of a thawing in the approach that Rambakai is taking after taking some time out. My thanks to you for watching. There'll be more fascinating stories to tell on tonight. Tomorrow, till then, good night and goodbye.